I'm Julie. I work with Accomplished Quilting in Sales and Education, and today I'm going to talk to you about the control unit, the controller for the standard stitch regulator on the Innova quilting machines. First of all, I'd like to tell you about the control panel and all the buttons and what they do, and then I'll go over using the control panel to adjust your stitch regulator and also to use the machine in manual mode, and then we'll talk about um, setting a minimum sew speed. This is the main screen of the controller. The button here that says mode, if you press that it will scroll through the different settings, the main screen, stitches per inch, and then we're back to the main screen. The button below that says half set is used to change to other screens or if you hold it, it will save a new setting that you've put in. Let's go back to the main screen. In the main screen, the five button shows you if you have your stitch regulator turned on or off. When you see nothing in that section, it means your stitch regulator is turned off or you're in manual mode. Your machine will just go at the speed that you set it. Here's the SR, that means the stitch regulator is turned on. ER is not a setting that you would use unless you have the couching attachment. And now we're back to stitch regulator. The four, the next button, changes the needle positioner. So right now it's in the down position. So when I stop stitching, my needle will stop in the down position. If I press it again, my needle will stop in the up position. The next button that says three changes the thousandth place. So if I touch that, it's my stitch speed now is set at 1,300. The maximum is 3,000. The two button controls the hundredths place. The one button controls the tens place. And the zero button controls the ones place. Let's um, use the machine in manual speed. So I'm going to use the five to turn the regulator off. And now the machine would start at 416 stitches a minute. I can control that. If I wanted it to start at 1,416 stitches per minute, I would just set it there. So what I want to do first is base the quilt. So I'm going to have it start at a slow speed, so I'm going to put it back to 400. I will now baste down my quilt top using the standard speed of around 400. Bringing up my thread. In, in this motor speed is adjustable with the handles on the machine. So if I wanted it to go faster, I just hold down the green button on the handle, or I can also pull down the left button and slow down the machine. Let's turn the stitch regulator back on. Press the mode button three times, and when it says SPI, then I know that the stitch regulator is 
set at stitches per inch 11. If I want to change the stitch length, I can use the one button or the zero button. Let's say I wanted to have smaller stitches, so I'm going to Once I get to 19, then it rolls over. So if I wanted it to be like 14 stitches per inch, I make sure it's set on 1, 4, and then I hold the half set button until the number starts stops flashing. I can also change the minimum sew speed by pressing the half set button again while I'm in this screen. And if I don't want the machine to start at zero, then I would put in a, another number. So this is gonna, I'm going to change it to 300. Once I'm at 300, I hit the half set button, hold it till it stops flashing. And now I can go and start using my stitch regulator and it'll give me kind of a coast feature that it'll start at 300 instead of having to go from zero to 300. This helps eliminate a large stitch at the beginning or when you're coming out of a point. My stitch regulator is now set at 14 stitches per inch and a minimum sew speed of 300. You can see how when I pause, it just keeps going a little bit. If you're using rulers, the minimum sew speed uh, might work best if it's set at less than 300. I would recommend 100 or 200. Let's show you how to do that. So we're going to go back to the stitches per inch. and then press the half set button once and change this number to 100. And then I'll press the half set button till it stops flashing and we're ready to stitch again. Or you might prefer to have it at zero. this tutorial has been helpful in teaching you how to use the standard stitch regulator on the Innova quilting machines. If you'd like more information, please look at our website at www.accomplishedquilting.com or give us a call at 866-556-2552. Thank you.